High school student Shun Takahata spends much of his time playing violent video games. During class, the teacher's head blows and turns into a Daruma doll, and Shun, along with his friend Satke and their whole class suddenly find themselves forced to participate in a deadly game of Daruma Sinjie Koronda, with the students getting killed one by one every time they move. When the doll turns toward the blackboard, it exposes a button on its back that the students can attempt to press to end the game before his timer runs out. With the help of Satke, Shun manages to reach the button and presses it to end the game, then Satke dies, revealing that only the one who presses the button will live. After finishing the game, Shun meets up with his friend Ichika Akimoto and they make their way to the school gym. There, they initiate the second game, Belling the Cat, featuring a maneki neko, where students dressed as mice attempt to throw a bell into a hoop attached to the collar of a giant beckoning cat, while trying not to be eaten or crushed. The game is won with the aid of Takeru Amiya, a troubled classmate who beats up other students, seems to revel in the opportunity to see so many deaths, and who kills all the other survivors besides Shun and Itika after winning the game. The three of them are then put out of consciousness by sleeping gas released by the cat. They wake up to find themselves with other students in a room inside a giant flying cube hovering over Tokyo, facing the next test. Students all over Japan and elsewhere in the world face similar tests, and a handful of survivors are being brought inside the cubes. The next game is Kagome Kagome where the students have to be blindfolded and will guess which of four floating kokeshi wooden dolls is behind them within 10 seconds after the end of a short song. If they fail to do so, they will be hit with a red laser and the dolls will use telekinesis to destroy their bodies. If the player manages to guess who's behind them and the kokeshis lose, they will all explode and one of them releases an answer key with the students being able to leave the room and enter the next phase. Shun meets and saves his ex-classmate Shoko Takse by winning the game, while two of their roommates, Tera and Taoka get killed, and the duo reunite with Ichika and another player, Yukio Sanda, whom they save from being killed by a fifth Kokeshi by holding their hands. The four join Eiji Oku and Kotro Meda to the next level, where they have to use their keys to unlock a giant smiling Kokeshi head. Amir brings in three more keys and kills a prisoner that he brought into the room. The seven survivors use their keys, and the giant head rolls away to dig a tunnel into the next room. Meanwhile, each player is displayed on television screens for the others to see. The next game is Shirokuma, a white polar bear that appears to them inside a frozen room. The students have to all answer the white bear's questions honestly, otherwise, they will be forced to single out the one that they suspect to be lying to be killed. Shoko and Yukio get killed, and Shan soon realizes that the bear is a true liar and that its real color is black, therefore winning the game and surviving with the other four students. The final game, presented by three Mariushka dolls, is a game of kick the can that must be completed before sundown. The remaining five each pick a stick, and the one who gets the red one plays the devil. Whoever's face is seen and gets called out by the devil, is caught and thrown into a cell. Kicking the can in the middle will make it explode, killing nearby players. Takeru gets the red stick and soon Oku. Meda and Ichika are caught by him while Shun finds armor to conceal his face while hiding. Shun falls into the sea while chaining Takeru to the armor. As Takeru fights to pull the armor up to avoid being pulled down, Shun climbs back up, having freed himself from the armor. Both race towards the can, and Shun succeeds in kicking the can first, thereby winning the game. The Maryoshka dolls reveals that in fact, the explosion is a lie and that none of them will be killed by losing the game. They have a popsicle party, where they learn their fates on the wooden stick, and that the intention of the last game was simply for entertainment. Shun and Takeru get to live while Ichika, Eiji, 
and Kotro are killed by a fourth Mariushka doll with lasers that disintegrates them. Shun and Takeru emerge to the top of the cube, where they see crowds cheer for them, while Enokida Takumi, a hikikomori who has been watching them from his room, goes out of his house, possibly to find the real identity of God. Takeru celebrates while Shun kneels in despair from the loss of his friends, stating that there is no God. One of the Matryoshka dolls corrects him and suggests that those deadly games will lead them to God, as it shows him a vagrant who was also an observer and the God behind these death games.